Hello, and welcome to the more spoon hunting in Factorio. Uh, my name is Tris Magistus, and uh, in this stream, well, in this stream, there's probably going to be a lot of me fiddling about with the cushion at my back because I've having been having a lot of back trouble in the latter part of this week, so it's probably going to be a lot of that. But we are going to try and do the no spoon achievement. Uh, there is no spoon in Factorio. Um, this is the sort of serious proper run. I had a go at it. Oh, seriously. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I had a go at it last time, uh, last couple of weeks, and uh, we didn't quite do it. But I wasn't anticipating doing it. The plan is basically well, let's let's load the map up. So this is not the map I was on. There is a, a secret that uh, I need to explain, which is basically that uh, I had a practice run during the week to see if it would work in, you know, in principle. Um, whether the idea of copy and pasting the map in would get me something that would launch a rocket, you know, within the eight hours. The answer was emphatically yes, because I've still got two and a half hours left. And as you can see, there's a rocket ready to go. Um, so there is no fundamental problem with that. Uh, um, so we'll, I did make a few tweaks, though, because there were a couple of things that became apparent when I did the test. And also, so the main thing I wanted to show, basically, right now, uh, is that this is um, tidied up. So this was a whole spaghetti mess before. Um, I didn't fully like move everything down and make everything as separate as probably it should be because there are still some issues which you will kind of be able to see from this copper here in that there's now four lanes of copper coming in um, basically be, by accelerating the time to do it means that there's a greater demand it's that thing of you know if you need a thousand in total by it by the end of the hour is that you know one thousand per hour as in you know, divide 1,000 by 60 and that's the number per minute. Or if you want to, you know, do the same amount of work in half an hour, then your rate needs, you know, the amount that you've got to provide per second goes up for the first half an hour and then it drops to zero. You know, so it's sort of uh, the total area under the graph is the same, but you need more of it at the beginning, basically. So that's why there's an extra lane. Uh, it's very, very apparent, though, I'm just going to leave them on the blueprint, but it's very, very apparent, though, that I just I just don't need this amount of steel. And in fact, the amount of coal that I'm getting, as you can see, I mean, I still haven't filled all of those out. This coal is all basically just sort of backed up and sort of doing not very much. Um, oh, that's interesting. Is that not filled out, then? Because... It's weird. The amount of iron that I need isn't as much as you might think, but the amount of copper, uh, like really, as in the same effect. So we now got four of these. You see, the same effect of that didn't happen with the iron. Um, and so as you see, it's only two lanes of iron that's basically being spread across the three smelters. Um, it's interesting. Uh, so what what we've, we need to go and and in order to blueprint it, basically, I need to make a load of radars. Um, so we need to do that. But the first thing we're going to do in this stream um, is... Do I, actually, I need some... Oh, I've not got any, any iron at all. Well, I need to connect some of these up because I disconnected them. You know, it was meant to be a simulation, so it's like... Um, you know, so the, the fact I will disconnect these... Yeah. You know, during the run proper... Uh, it's sort of irrelevant at this stage, so where would that be there, I guess? In terms of, uh, you know, we need to have this all up and running so I don't, you know, forget and accidentally not put power bars in or something. Yeah, it's this, basically the copper here, and as you can see, there's a bit of red belt now, and it's the same issue. It's the, you need to deliver a lot more in, in the same sort of time. Uh, in fact, let's... Let's do a little tweak and take this up here and then we can, if I connect, hmm. connect, yeah, that's everything. Okay. 
So is that you know? So so and basically it's it's just tidied up really. There's nothing spectacularly different. Have I gone orange? <laughs> Hang on. That's slightly better. Hopefully the game audio is not too loud. I had a bit of a issue. In fact, it might be still too quiet. I kind of noticed that all the streams, the all game audio was really quiet since I switched to uh, OBS. Um, right, yes, no. So I need a load of cogs. Um, I'm just going to blueprint because what it... I switched out when I was tidying it all up. I did switch all everything to yellow and, um, uh, you know grey inserters I think but it turns out that's not actually relevant because I tested that out as well uh, but what I say we need to oh why have I not got oh, I've not got any iron plate as well what we need to do is basically go around and stick in a whole load of radars so that we can see the entire base and that will then let us um, you know blueprint it from the map I'm not going to do this there'll be a bit missing down the bottom here with this but it's sort of obvious what that is um, you know, it's just a pipe going down to some water. I had all sorts of trouble with this, um, and we'll probably end up with the same issue, like effectively sort of micromanaging the oil, because the other option... Oh, that's... What an idiot. I'm doing this run, and I've completely forgotten to open the file up that tells me all of the stuff I need to set for the map. And I need to, uh, you know, oops, what did I click there? And the research order. Right, I've got that open now. I've been feeling a bit weird, if I'm totally honest. I don't know if it's just like the sort of anticipation of this or what, but... Um, but I've been feeling sort of, it's going to sound strange, but incompetent, as in... I keep, I keep dropping things. Right, so there needs to be one there. But it's like this coal isn't doesn't need it. You know, that my whole... The thing I was doing here to, like, safeguard against, you know, coal and all that sort of stuff isn't needed. Um, why have I got three inserters on there? That's where I've fixed it, but not fixed it properly. Okay, we'll get rid of them. Uh, oops. A little random bit of belt there. Right, so if you plop this one in, where else are we going to need one? So that covers all of that. So it's probably one up here. Oh, there we go. Right next to the satellite. Yeah, so what we can do, basically, um, if I don't actually do... If I mess this up or, um, you know, my feeling weird means I have to stop or whatever. We can just fire this map back up and it's ready to go. And it'll be ident you know, oh, we've still got two and a quarter hours left now. Um, but you know, it'll be what I'm gonna build is gonna be identical to this. It's just the process of actually doing it on stream that I wanted to preserve really. Um so there's one there, isn't there? Uh, but what we need to do to start with is come up with a, a starter science build, basically. Um, by which I mean the very start of the game, once you've got got your power, I'm going to so I'm going to leave it all this in, but it's really, as you see, it's not necessary. Is that, that, oh, there's obviously one over here somewhere. Ah, oh, there's one up by the up by the boilers. Uh, yes. So, um, if the sound is a bit loud of the game. Uh, and, you, and you'll have to let me know. It's very difficult to tell without... There must be some way of... And you can set like a monitor, so it plays the audio back, but then I don't know how to get it to do the monitor without also having the game audio playing through, because obviously I've got headphones on. I don't have bright blue ears. <laughs> um... 
Oh. Oh. You can't put it down if you haven't got one. Right, should be one more over here somewhere. But yeah, the, I'm sort of tapping all this coal. It's not really necessary because you can see, as you can see, it's sort of. We do need all the power in the end. Um, particularly having added the third smelter, um, we do need that sort of three rows of power. But that's all, and that is plen it's plenty sort of thing. Um, but as you can see, I've not I've not actually filled everything in. Um, and it's all fine and dandy. And this is, you know, this is not needed and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so say so that. Oh. Uh, oh, there's one right up. Okay. So we need to get that one. And I say that, or then. I mean, I've actually got the blueprints already. So say so this is what I was testing. So this is the initial power. Um, sorry, the initial smelting bits and pieces. But you see, it's got the, like, the labs and the random, you know. Um, like in the middle that's effectively what we need to replace because um, these aren't going to change and it's also on that one but these aren't going to change um, it's this one um, that I need to redo once we've, we've finished putting these radars in so that I can see the whole, whole thing basically um, so it's this bit here you see we need to come and do a, a new set up um, and that it's the bit where you say you've, you've just got power you're doing a handful of you do your, your first manual research to get automation and then it's this bit where you you make your first bits of belts your first inserters your first red and green science um, hello the road player how are you doing hope you're having a good day um, first bits of you know science and so we need to sort of redo redo that and then we'll kick straight into the run um, and as I say, I know it works because I've <laughs> I've kind of already done it, but I wanted to I want to get it on stream, you know. And I say if we if we don't if I mess up somehow, we can just come back to this save file and I'll launch the rocket and call it done because I don't fancy doing this this series next week. I don't think I'll become a speedrunner. Uh, sounds like too much stress to me. Ready for my speed run? Nearly, nearly. So I got I got to rework this. I kind of know what I want with it. Um, and then we'll and then we'll go straight into it. So it should take, it take ten minutes or so, um, and then we can crack on. Um, right. So get my blueprints. Redo this one like that. Grab all of that. I say it's a bit missing there, but it's just a pipe going down to uh, going down to the the pump. Right. So I'll save that. Right, so, so let's head back down, rework the labs and that, that initial science. I say, I, when I was doing the test run, I put something together that was sort of okay, so we can do something. I've got a you know, rough idea what I want to do. There's a lot of things like that where I've put in power poles. I didn't realise that when you have ghost power poles, and I discovered this as I was doing it, I was, when you have ghost power poles, like, and they're, say, you know, some arrangement like that, where you would normally expect if you run along, um, you know, it would be max distance power poles. It actually just fills them in. So, oh, <laughs> if you click on the right thing, it does. Like that. And I didn't know it did that. Um, that's really helpful, because I say... It's more about then hitting them rather than, um, you know, worrying about it resetting them as such. Right, yeah, so we need to, let's say, we need to redo this bit. Uh, do I even have any labs? Probably not. So I made a couple of labs. We've got those. Got some, in fact, let's make a few more inserters. Got some boxes. Okay, so. Um... I say we'll do it sort of just down from this, I think. Um, and I say this would be like that. Now, how did I do this? I basically had two red, two assemblers making reds. So we put them in like that. And then I think I literally did. 
Oh, it's too close. Okay. <laughs> uh, but let's move it down rather than. Oh. Okay. Oops. There we go. Uh, I think I literally just did two. Making gear wheels. And then. Oh. No. And then one. Was that right? Or was it one on one? I don't suppose it matters as such, but. Because they don't need gear wheels that quickly, do they? It's only. Oh, it's five seconds. It mustn't have been that then. It must have just been one. So that's making gear wheels. Because we also need the chest for the... In fact, maybe we do that. We can get the chest in there. For copper. And then this one can maybe go there. So I don't remember exactly what it was. So this one's doing belts. Like that, and then like that. Like that. So we put iron plate in there and iron plate in there. Copper in both of those as well. That's that one. So maybe if we limit that to a couple of stacks. That's gear wheels. Cool. And then on the other side, it's essentially the same sort of idea, but I think I did. How did I do? So it's, these two were green, definitely. It was one of each. I remember that distinctly. It might be better to move that over. Because we can then put. Because what I think I, what I did basically is I then belted this over, so we, I put one on there. Because obviously it's going to make the belts in order to be able to do this. And then I seem to recall. It's probably way fancier than it needs to be, but doing that. And then that was like that. And this obviously is certers. Because this is, yeah, belts and inserters. And then that needs one of them. And then a bit of power. Nope. Is there somewhere I can put that? I'll get all of them. If it, no. Mm, in fact, I could do that, couldn't I? Cool. And then this had the old thing. Because they that needs iron. And this was circuits. And then it's just that, I think. And that's copper wire. So that needs iron plate, gear wheel, oh, gear wheels. Oh, I can put gear wheels there. Ah. Okay. So that's gear wheels. So that needs iron. So we put iron plate and copper in there. I think that's roughly how I had it. It's not it's not meant to be efficient or anything, it's just the first um you know, the first bit of automation so that I'm not handcrafting all the science and feeding it in, and it's also a bit quicker than one machine each sort of thing. Is that right? So red red science is copper and gear wheels. So we put copper and iron plate in there and it makes gear wheels. 
and it's got the copper. But we can also make belts, our first set of belts, which is just iron plate and gear wheels, which are coming out there. They go into that box, which are lip. Oh, I've not got a box for this. This is that's what I've forgotten. Uh, it'd be annoying with the power poles. Maybe no. Okay. Mm. Oh well. Right, so we'll then put that in there. I guess maybe just two stacks as well. It's probably a bit much that. So this makes uh, out of iron plate and green circuits. Oh, it's not got its green circuits. There we go. Iron plate, copper wire, copper wire, iron plate, iron plate for gear wheels. Cool. Right, so we'll blueprint this one. Um, if I... Hmm. So if I get the pumps in, then that will help me place it. Okay. Makes it easy to fill the blueprints. Yeah, I say, I mean, it was... Um, it's because, I mean, when I tend to do, um, you know, my arrange, my sort of proper you know, proper playthrough builds. I tend to do sort of max length um, power poles almost as a, you know, that's sort of a, you know, default thing. It's very rare, or relatively rare that I'm doing short lengths. But um, I say I was sort of, it was a higgledy-piggledy mess, obviously, on the on the thing. And it was just like, I was just like, I was like, well, I'll run a line up rather than, you know, just a new one, rather than try and match all of what I've put in the blueprint. And it was plopping them into the blueprint. I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, right, so what we want is a lab symbol, I think. Create that blueprint, and then we want to put that in here. So we've got, so this is the big one, because there's a slight weirdness with the big one, in that I'm going to have to run round <laughs> and reveal the map, because it won't let me put down the blueprint in... Undiscovered areas. I thought it let always, as in fog of war areas, it'll obviously let you put them in, you know, bits of the map that you've revealed that you, um, you know, you're not currently scanning or whatever. So that fog of war. But if you try and put them in areas of the map that you haven't discovered, it won't let you. And I say I always thought it it allowed you to place the blueprint, but it didn't put anything in that area. So, you know, you would hold shift and it would, you know, put, let you press it, but nothing would be in it would just be you know that bit of the blueprint wouldn't there wouldn't be there but it isn't it's it's that if if it's you know proper undiscovered map area it won't even let you put it down at all which was um a bit of a pain because then i've got it means basically i've got to run around at some point reveal all that i mean i could break it into smaller blueprints but I, i'm not sure i can be bothered and we need to reveal it all anyway in order to build on it so at some point i'll just have to run i had to run round. <laughs> And basically reveal it all. Right, so we, what's the order we want this in? So if we do... Yeah, that wants to be third, I think. My blueprints. Yeah, okay. Right then, so we're not going to... Well, I won't save this, I say, because we can just load it back up. Um, smaller blueprints would be good, yeah. I say, I'm not, you know... Because eight hours... I say, as you can see from the clock... You know, I did it in five and a half hours, so we've got a lot, of, lot of lee, not a leeway basically. Uh, right, so we'll quit out this, and then we want single player or new game, obviously free play. Now the settings are first one, obviously, is to turn that on because I forgot to do that. Uh, the seed is three, seven, eight, five. Three nine zero six four three three seven eight five three nine zero six four three. 538 uh, Turn pollution off. Re research queue is always. En uh, enemies. So we have 600 starting. And we turn off expansion and evolution. Terrain. We turn off cliffs. We set water to 200, 200, and 33. Set trees to 200, 
and 33. Those two don't matter. Uh, at least, the, yeah, these settings let you get the steam achievement. Yes, yeah. Um, so you can't fiddle with these two. So the frequency and size, you can't change them. They have to be default. But it lets you put that up to maximum distance and turn off both, exp well, expansion, evolution, and pollution. So effectively, although the biters are there, they're completely neutered. You know, they, they I mean, as you saw... Well, uh, they're not even revealed on the map because they're so far away. In fact, well, I'll do the preview. I'll do it after because it it completely freezes my system. Um, so we'll do it in a minute. But I'll show you the preview because they are on the preview, but they're way like way off basically. Um, so all sizes need to be three hundred. And all richnesses need to be through 600. So all sizes need to be 300. And all richnesses need to be 600, which is the max. But then we want the frequency to be 200, 200 for iron and copper. And coal. 300 for crude. But only leaving stone at 100. Okay, so I'll show you the preview. I'm trying to remember what it looks like. <laughs> but yes, this is this is the map, I think. Yeah, because we got the two iron patches there. We got the uh, iron patch there rather than cut two coal there. Got coal there, copper, stone. This is the water where it's coming up from. Yeah, so that's it. But as you can see, so there are biters. No, biters aren't really an issue. But I say there are biters, but you know, on the map, and you have to have them, and they're at the default um, settings. It won't, it won't let you do it if you don't, don't have the default. Um, but as you can see, they're way out. And say so there's no evolution, so if I for, if for some reason you were setting it, and you accident you know you forgot to do you know the maximum distance on the uh, the starting area, and they were you know in here and they were sat on this iron patch or something, um, and for some reason it took you a while or you did or you left pollution on or whatever, they wouldn't be evolving. Um, you can't put them on peaceful mode though. Um, you can't turn peaceful mode on, so they would be aggressive. Um, but as I say, you can push them. The starting area, in case you're not familiar, the starting area is uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There again. So that basically, well, let's turn it down to 100. There you go. So if we would put that to, to put that on 100, we would have biters sufficiently close by that we would have to deal with them, particularly these guys. Probably, no, that would be all right, but. Those, well, that one there, we would have to deal with that biter nest, um, which, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not fundamentally a problem, but, um, you know, it's a waste of time, effectively. Whereas if we push, push that up to 600, then the nearest biters are all the way out there, basically. So, yeah, I mean, you can actually, what you can do, what you can even do, um, which I saw someone giving as a tip, so I imagine it's a fairly well-known little tweak. Where's, oh, there you go. So you can set the width and size of the map to basically be within that border. So if we, I never know what the scale of this is. What does 400 look, there you go. So if we set this to be a 400 by 400 map, then the biters would literally never be an issue because although they're turned on, which keeps the achievement happy, um, you can set that small enough that it's outside, that they're outside of, oh, this, <laughs> it's chugging away. Uh, it's out, you know, so you can basically set it, you know, within that area. And then there is literally no biters on the map, even though you have fulfilled the conditions for the, for the achievement. <laughs> I, thought that, I mean, it's quite, I, I didn't think of that, but that was, um, that's quite a clever little cheat. Right, so we'll crack on. Basically, 
I might not be particularly particularly at the beginning. I might because uh, it means that there's a lot of running around doing manual stuff. So if I'm ignoring you in in chat, sorry. <laughs> um, but I say I'll be when when we do researches. Obviously, a game pauses so and the timer pauses so. I can take a look then, but I might be fairly certainly to begin with. I might be a bit, a bit focused on it, um, but I will try and sort of talk through. Right here we go then. And as I say, if it gets to the end of stream tomorrow and I've still not done it, I'll just fire up that other save and we'll launch the rocket and and get the achievement. All right, off we go. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Oh, stop that. Right, so we've got. Uh, one burner mining drill. Uh, now what I can actually do is immediately put down this blueprint because that's set that up to be in range. Oh, that's a little tricky. If we go up and I can't quite see where it is. Here we go. Let's do it like this. So it is there. So, that tells me where to put these miners. Okay, so we pop this down. And then I'm actually going to leave them there for a second and go and punch this rock. Because this will have some coal in it. So it's probably not a great run for the sort of proper speed running. Uh, because I know they like to, you know, really crack on. Uh, what we'll do in the meantime, while well, that's chugging away, is we will punch these rocks. Hopefully that will make, that other one will make enough iron. This gets us a bit more coal and a bit more stone. So that we can hopefully make some more of these. In fact, all of them. Got that there. Have you? How much have you done? Oh, seven. That's not enough. Okay. We'll go and punch these trees up here then. Well, that does the last little bit. I thought it might have done it by then, but clearly not. So we'll grab these. Because we've only enough to be able to go and put a miner on the stone. Pick all of this up, get some more stone, some our first bit of wood. Right, I'm sure that'll be enough. Uh, let's craft all of them. You must be done by now. There we go. So we can make a burner mining drill or two. A few boxes. Stick that, oops, that coal in there. Put that on there. Oop, I've run past it. So we want this. In fact, no, it's not that, is it? It's... No, it will, uh, hmm. In fact, I'll put that there. And we'll do both of them like that. Oh, so that'll get some stone. I haven't got alt mode on, have I? And then we want dash up again. Get some more iron. And that should get us one more. Oh, I need two more. Getting ahead of it. So I nip down here, put these on coal, like that, a little bit of coal in there. Okay, let them chug away. Grab this stone, make some more of them. Put all of them in. more. 
So this is sort of virtuous circle stuff to some extent. It's um uh, let's go and get some coal while that chugs away. Oh, I forgot. I've got these, haven't I? I need to also... I think it's that one I need to take out. Got these as well. I forgot all about them. Gets us another one. Oh. 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 Stone. Put one more of these on. Yeah, helps if you put it in the right place. Uh, grab that. And then, yeah, you're working, aren't you? Cool. Two more. Oops. Took the coal out by accident. And then three more. We'll go and get some coal next. Two. Three. No, missed. Right. A bit more coal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't have to play along, but uh, it'd be good to have the company, at the very least. Um, uh, I need more iron, don't I? It's not enough. It's not enough. It's never enough. Right, so we're going to stick. Should be able to make a bunch more. That should probably be it now for needing miners. We should be able to. Oh. Come on, build them. Hurry up. Should be able to fill this out. Two, one. There. One more, please. One more. No. There you go. Grab that coal. Ah, no, we are going to need some more. Oops. Grab that. Uh, how many more do we need? We need two, four, five, and then there's like three, four. Okay, so we need nine more. Okay. Might leave them for a minute, though. And go and... Go and look at this situation. So we want two of them. Oh, well, we don't want one of them, but that'll do. I want... Oh! Oh, of course I've not got any copper, have I? Getting ahead of myself again. Like that there. Up there. In fact, let's sort of fill all of this out, if we can. Yeah, go on then. Go on then, let's treat ourselves. Right, so coal. Awesome. Some nice stacks going, and you should exist now. Uh, coal. Right, let's go and grab some more coal. Coal. Uh, a little bit more in here. Grab them. Grab them. So now we can. No, now we can't make power poles because I have not neglected to pick up copper. Uh, two for five. Okay. Oops. Copper. Power poles. Uh, we also need an offshore pump. In fact, we might as well put them all in. In fact, the entire map uses four offshore pumps from memory, so we might as well build them all. 
we could make our first lab. Uh, so we need to take this out. And if we pop in this, oh, that'll plop it back again. Oh, well, never mind. Put this in. Tells me where all of that goes. And then I get rid of all of that. Can I make the science at least? I can make five of them. Uh, and then we get the other one. Where did that go? We get that one. And we know to line it up with the pumps. Yeah, because what I've found... I, I mean, I think I knew this, but I didn't know it. You see what I mean? I had it in the back of my head probably somewhere. Um, is that if you haven't researched the technology, it lets you put the machine down, but without the recipe on it. Um, which was quite interesting. Right, so... Need some undergrounds. Uh, probably need some pipes. Oh, uh, I haven't got any of them. Okay. Right there. Right there. Uh, I've got one of them, but I haven't got any more of them. That's fine. Box on. Oh. Them. Let's just put that nominal bit of coal in. Like that. We can put these in. Right, so. In fact, let's put the power poles in. While we're going. Uh, yeah. Take these down. You still have to be relatively precise, though. <laughs> what I mean. Uh, we're going to need more copper. In fact, let's get some coal first. And then we can... Uh, then we can... Distribute that around. Grab that. Do all of them. Can I make... No, I can't. Okay, let's just grab the iron first then. So there's five of them I need. Two more of them. Uh, I need to put coal in everything. Uh, have you done them? Nearly. Oh, I think I've already got them. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Copper then. Copper. Another lab. Five of them. Okay, automation. Uh, right, so the first so first ones are automation, loggy sticks, green, electronics, steel, and the pickaxe, which I didn't actually research last time. So that's a new one. And that's what we'll set for set before. Hey, Graham, how you doing? Hope you've not been... Blown away by all this wind. As you, I'm actually I'm doing the run now, so apologies if uh, I sort of get into it and uh, you know <laughs> don't see chat messages. I'm gonna I'll check when I do the sciences, but this time I've enabled the queue, so I can queue up quite a few sciences. So um, so yeah, so hopefully it'll be a bit smoother. I was saying, I don't know if you were here earlier, but I actually did a test run during the week, and I know it works, basically. Um, I didn't actually launch the rocket, but there was about two and a half hours to go on the achievement, so it's plenty of time if I make any mistakes or, you know, um, that sort of thing. It should still work, but if it doesn't, we'll just load that, you know, tomorrow afternoon, I'll just load that save up and, and launch the rocket. I don't fancy taking it onto another... You know, another stream next week, sort of thing. Good, thanks for working. 
today. It's and how are you doing? I'm not too bad. Yeah, I've been. I don't know. I was. I've been a bit of a. Weird, I don't know if it was. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling a bit weird, if I'm honest, <laughs> but not in a describable way. Um, I kept dropping things this mor this after this morning when I was doing my cleaning, but I have. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> But I'm fine. It's just I say I don't know, a bit distracted. I think I think it's because of work's been a bit weird. But um, but yeah. But no, you know, you know fine. Uh, but luckily, didn't get any damage from the storm. It was really windy. Um, but but yeah, it's uh, not because last last time we had a big storm. It basically took the fence down, and I had to spend a day putting the fence back up. Right, so yeah, so I say we've now got the queue, and so I didn't do the pick last time, um, so that's sort of a new addition because we need to punch quite a lot of trees. There were like a thousand power poles uh, in the in the base by the end, and I didn't realise there were that many. Right, so let's crack on. Uh, so this needs power. Does it still need power? Because I've got a power pole in the wrong place. We need one there. I'll go and finish off, or go and put some more coal in these boxes. At the very least, did I even make them? I did. So I'll pop those there. Put that in there. One in there. Da, da, da. We didn't, I didn't make them, did I? Put that there. Oh, if the vo oh, sorry, just uh, I had I've had some issues with the sound. If it's really loud, let me know. Um, uh, I didn't mind start designing a starter base. No, that that'll be next week. I think I think that's what I'll do. Well, I'm not sure actually, <laughs> but no, it'll be um, no, it's the spoon run today. Finish that off. Um, it's getting windy down here this morning. Yeah, so it was um, I mean it's a proper proper storm so so yeah pretty windy uh right so i can pop that in and put that in there and that'll do it quicker what else uh obviously i need it's a bit weird it lets you sort of make inserters and stuff before you can you know make uh actual assemblers right we need more stuff basically I mean, it's Factoria. When do you not need more stuff? Basically, the definition of a game. Right. Hopper. Go. Hopper. Bing, bong, bing. Right, so it's going to try and make logistics, but it can't because... But what we can do is, oh, can't make one of them because I've not got any iron plate. Loads of iron plate, right, make a load of them, load of them, load of them. Uh, coal in here. Now have we got no. Okay, still not made any. Okay, it's not a problem. I will simply. Here we go. Right, so pop that one in there. Flip you round. Oh, get you to make furnaces. In fact, why are the power poles not over here? Huh. Um, and certain, uh, hmm. oh, not that, power poles, there we go, I've not even got any, okay, leave that be for a minute then, 
Right, let's go and fill in this uh, new research thing. And we will get initial science automated. And while it's doing them, I'll run around and basically fill out the map so that I can see what's going on <laughs> with the bl big blueprint. Right, so we want missed. Want two, uh, them two, that one, then that in there, that like that. Need more inserters. Uh, one of you, box, box. Now we want iron plate in there, and copper. I'm playing there on copper. Okay, so that should be the first little bits of science. Uh, so we'll go and grab some more stuff actually, because that's not really. In fact, I might. No, let's leave them going. That bit of this Oops. Cool. Right, so so I'll run around now and uh Six. Kill them. Kill them. Right. Well, what we can do actually is is punch these trees. Missed. They're here. Give us some wood. Make some more power poles and boxes, etc. So there are like 1400 power poles in the final base. So we're going to have to punch a surprising number of trees. as well. That one. Better. So, a bit more coal in these, just 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 for safety. Okay, so that's uh, logistics done. So we can put whatever we've got left like in there. Okay, let's grab some more iron then. And they say we'll go and sort of reveal the bits of the map that I kind of need to. in order to plop the big blueprint down. Okay, so that's plenty of iron. And then... Copper. Stick this in... for this chest. Like that. That's in that chest. How many belts we got? Oh, lovely. 
Lovely. So that's green science being made. I guess I could fill this out then. Um, so it doesn't let you put a recipe down that you haven't researched, but it'll let you put the machine down. Which is really good for being able to sort of fill out the blueprint preempt oh, preemptively. Um, do, do. Can I even make? Oh, I can. Except I've not got green circuits. Okay. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, I've missed one. Right, pop that down. So we would need that. Yeah. Right, so we need to find the... Iron ore patch up here. Doing this properly, I kind of cheat. I had far reach. All oh, right. Does it? I always thought is far reach not counted as a mod in some way. Then I always thought far reach would um, basically disable the achievement. That's interesting. Um. I'd better just reveal... In fact, we'll punch a few trees as we go. Better just reveal this. I don't think I need to, technically. But if we just make sure this is... sort of uncovered... We can kind of check, basically, what we need to reveal. Because uh, it's there, roughly. So it's all right there. It's basically the oil and down to that lake at the bottom. So as we go, in fact, what we'll do... Is we might as well pop in... These bits. Like that. Those two, pop them in. Obviously, it's a bit, you know, just sort of preempting it, really. No, oh, can I make that now? No, of course I can't, because I haven't picked anything more else, more else up. So. These are probably, yeah, these are full now. And then over for some iron. Okay. So we can top the science up. So you need more iron plates. So do you. Put copper in there. And then I can make this one. So that's all ready to rumble. Uh, might as well get it started. I suppose. In fact, no, it's... Uh, no, yeah, the next one doesn't need... It is a mob, you, but you used to be able to use mods for achievements. All right. I, d I don't know if you can use... Still can, though. No, I mean, you can't. No, there's also certain commands that actually disable... I mean, obviously, you know, now there's an editor mode, so it wouldn't be very good if they let you play with that because you could just cheat cheat everything into existence. But uh, No, you can't 
you can't do them with, I don't think, any mods now. There might be some, but I mean, there's certain commands you can use and it doesn't, you know, like seed and time and those sorts of ones don't don't count as as mods as it, uh, as commands um, but you kind of have to have to do well I say that there's there is a bit of weirdness where if you play with mods on it like resets the achievements as in you can do the achievements but they don't it's basically whether they count on Steam or not is what you know what I'm talking about because you can do the achievements, but they you know they're not counted on Steam essentially. Um, uh, right, so is that going to let me put that down? Is it in the right place? I think so. Right, cool. So that's the entire base laid down basically. Uh, what we'll do is we're down here. Uh, I will... Oh, I can't, can I? Because I haven't got any... Oh. oh, I've got eight. Can I get down with eight? So if we go there... Because this is the fourth fourth and final... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. Let's ghost it in, then. Fourth and final pump, basically. Uh, what pump? So we know that's there, but not connected. Right. Make a whole load of. In fact, no, it's just so I can cancel them. Right. You disable handcrafting command. Yeah, it does. It lets you do that sort of one. So that's fine. You can do that one for the achievement. You know, in in. Um, you know, for a steam for the steam achievement. Um, so you can't do, as far as I'm aware, any mods, um, which I think is a bit cheeky because, um, as I understand it, I mean I don't, you know, I don't have any, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not colorblind basically, and I believe there are some mods that do like colorblind modes. Because um, there aren't really... It's one of the things I would say is really not good about Factorio. That it doesn't really have an access, any access, accessibility type features. You know, you can... Obviously, it's an incredibly moddable game. And, you know, they... You know, one of the best supported... You know, it's integrated into the game almost with the assumption that you will do mods type of thing. Um, but the accessibility ones... Uh, accessibility side of it is just like completely missing, which is not not brilliant really. Uh, right, yes. Yeah, so you should be making, oh, of course, all these power poles that I've just made. Right. Uh, it connected. Are you making... Oh. What's missing there, then? Oh, it's missing here. Okay. Is it connected now? Yeah. Just saw that briefly before it flashed away. Right, so... I haven't got any more iron plate. Okay, why have we lost... The recipe there. Oh, it's because this was where the random spam of... And it must have been... Oh, that's a bit of a flaw. Pick this up then. Bit of tidying up. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. Uh, and these two need to be green. We can grab them. And them. And then we need to do a... A restock run. So yeah, apologies if I'm not <laughs> reading chat too much because I am certainly during this bit. 
This is sort of the almost the crunch bit. What did I do there? I thought so. I put entire stacks in, didn't I? No. There we go. Right, we shouldn't probably, hopefully, have to do any more with them. But we shall see. Uh, let's make some more power bits. I want to fill out a complete row of power. And then put some electric mining drills on it. Do do. And then, in fact, why have I got so little iron? That doesn't seem very much. Uh, and then this needs iron in here. Huh. Did I not grab that properly? I guess unless... It must have run out of coal, I guess. Earlier than I was expecting. Hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah, so we go and put some extra... Is it two more of them I needed? Extra bits of power on. And we've got the belts now, but... Yeah, so get them in. Oh. What have I got? I've got some electric miners. Okay. Let's put the belt in. Um okay. There's a game setting for color blind setting. Oh there is, is there? That's interesting. Isn't it? So I was under the impression there wasn't really anything covering that. Because I know one of the things, as you know, I've not really done the likes of Bobs and Angels and that sort of thing, but he reshapes the, um, you know, the potions, the beakers, basically, the science beakers. And I always thought that was a quite a clever, you know, little solution to that, oh, little solution to that issue in that, um, you know, if you have, if... Green beakers were, I don't know what, you know, shapes Bob uses, but off from offhand, but, you know, if green beakers were square, and I can't remember what other sh shapes he uses, but, you know, circular rather than, or spherical, I guess, rather than, um, you know, the sort of proper shape of a flask. Why have I got so many power bars in there? Right, so we need to plop that one in because that's missing. Okay, put this in. Uh, how many of these did I make? I don't remember. Only two, okay. Okay. Right. Oh, it's under graphics car filter. Okay. I say it's not something I, you know, personally have a, an issue with. Um, good to know. I 
I do know there is one, if you hold down the Alt key when you click on the settings, it brings up like advanced settings. And there's a few things in there that are actually quite useful. Not, you know. Not sort of massively game changing, but there's a, there is a few bits in there. It's like, oh, good to know that that exists, you know. Right, so that's chugging away slowly. There's no inserter there, look. Uh, da -da -da. Right, let's go finish. So I'd like to have one, one bit of the, one side of the, you know, uh, coal thing going. So we need four more. Um, of these boys, and then we need a bunch of that pipe. So we need one, two, three, four of them. This pipe here. Oops. That pipe there. Right, and then a bunch of these. Um, let's put in the other power poles while we wait. So, I did end up needing all three of these in the end. Probably could, you know, do without a couple of boilers, but... Doing on research is steel axe. I think that's the last one I queued up, isn't it? more like it. Right, bunch of that, bunch of that. Okay, so we want uh, more iron in there. And more iron in there. Right, take some of that back out. And all the iron in there. Cool. We should kind of nearly be done with this. Um, in a sense, but it is useful for quite a while. Um, right, how many of these? Eight, there we go. Another five coming. How many of these have we got? So have I got two more? Can I make two more? No. That's annoying. Um... Can't fill it out already anyway. Do, do, do. If I grab that and them. So it's out of iron already.
Is it two more of them, I think? Iron in there. Okay. So in theory, one, two, three. I think we'll. I don't think I'll bother filling any more of this out, but uh, we're not far off. So there's only five left, really. Mm. Oh, that one's not going in the right place. How much steel would that be? That would be 31. Okay. Right, let's have a look at this research. Uh, uh, uh. So, this is the last one on the queue. So what I need now is Logistics 2. Automation 2, which is blue assemblers, obviously, and fast inserters, which is fast inserters. Uh, then we can queue up the, the two lab researches. And that should be it, yeah. Yeah, I got that. I'm kind of more, so you know, now I've learned something. Okay. Um. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, so plan then is to basically start filling out um, the smelting columns essentially. So um, it's going to go, it'll go weird basically because there's like far more. Um, there's a heck of a lot of belt I need to to build, so it'll sort of, you know, and it's better if I put the iron into doing the belt rather than the researches. So we may effectively kind of stop, but I would like to finish this one, so that we can get rid of the trees a little bit quicker. But yeah, so there we go. Uh, right, so if we grab a load of more, I don't know why this one keeps running out. There you go. Bit of coal. So I might as well put all of them, grab that. And then we want to put as much as we can in there. You see, we need to start filling these out, basically. And we will make sure those are topped up. Okay. How many? I haven't got any. Okay. <laughs> thought I might have a couple left, but I did put them all on the coal, didn't I? Right. So we'll sort of fill this out to the extent that. Oops, it enables me to smell, basically, so it's not really, oh, I don't really need that. Oh, I need that one, and that one, and that one. Like that. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong one. Doesn't matter, I'll just leave it. That's the one that's going to make concrete, basically. Oh, run out of them, okay. So do a couple of these. Like that. Obviously put the all of might as well put all of the powers purples in while it's chunking away on the uh, mining drills. Yeah, this is the thing where it fills out 
it basically puts them in your place, the place where you've put them in the blueprint, rather than there you go. So it's a great example of it where if you get your cursor over the top of these, it'll put them in rather than do the maximum extent, which is really, really quite good. How many of these have we got now? Ten. Okay. Eight. Obviously, most of these are at the maximum extent, so it's not to make any difference. But right, so that's a bit of iron coming. To oh no, it's not connected. Why is it not connected? So this is missing. There we go. And then some coal ones. Oh, no, I didn't make any then, did I? Uh, right, more iron. Oops. Uh, what do I need to make? I need to make more of them. Gonna inevitably need more of them. Get some power poles on the situation. Like that. Okay, so that's the coal. Oh, it was them I was going to make, wasn't it? Uh, cancel that out. Redo it. Don't need to fill that out. Ya fool. Oh. Wait, how is that? Oh, <laughs> the underground bypassed it, of course. Yeah. What was that? That must have been steel axe, so we can. Punch the trees. Wait, what is this? This is iron, yeah. Okay. Put that in there. Put it there. So hopefully coal will come through. in uh, why is nothing coming through oh uh, why is there no iron oh it's still not connected why is it still not connected Guess this must be connected at the top then. Oh, uh, okay, here we go. There we go. So that's iron and no, I was not quite there yet. One of them. One of them. Okay, got a bit of copper in. As you see, I ended up with speed modules in quite a few things, because, um, oh. One of the first things will, or one of the things will set up a lot earlier than I did last time, is the speed module production and, and prod module. Um, because I know where it is, basically. Because when I was obviously doing the first attempt, first run, 
I didn't actually even know where I was going to build those. Um, let's draw this in. Get some copper flowing. Some flopper glowing. Fill all of this in as well, aren't I? Uh, so a lot of this turned out to be unnecessary. It was just, you know, paranoia basically. But it was a bit too much effort to tidy out the blueprint, if I'm honest. Uh, right, so I'm still missing those things, aren't I? Are you making iron? You're making iron. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Down there as well. Here we go. This is more like it. Now we're cooking on gas. Get these miners in. So that's copper flowing there, but it's going to be blocked by a lack of splitters and etc. This doesn't appear to be moving, which doesn't make, which makes sense because um, it'll have run out of well everything basically. So I need to put these in so that the copper uh, coal oh. Coal can move through, uh, but we'll go and feed our science. Grab them. In fact, oh. no, I won't put a lot more coal in there because I haven't got a lot more coal, but we can grab some more. No. Okay, so did the old I'm thinking about things thing then. Right. We have all this iron, we've got tons of iron now. And we should have oh. oh. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more coal in there. Old-fashioned way. Right, let's go and feed, feed the beast. Um, now, yeah. more in there. Lots more in there. Grab them. Grab them. So I'm not too fussed if it kind of stores out at this stage. How many more of them can I make? Only four. Because uh, we've got the sort of, you know, actual production of... Uh, iron and copper at least started. So that gives us a lot more resource. Oops. So we can grab iron from here now. Um, and what we really want to do is get the actual better production of um, belts and stuff running. 
which will take a little bit of filling out. Oops. But not too much. Oh, out of belt. Okay. Obviously, it's got fast inserters on it at the moment because that's what we'll end up with. Uh, in fact, not that one, that one. Just the one. Oh, oh no, of course, I've not got any, not got any blues. Oops. Oops. Uh, it's still a bit of a higgledy piggledy mess, but it's my higgledy piggledy mess. Do what are you doing? You are. Oops. not going to make coal, uh, copper without filling this out. Yeah. Silly person. Let's so put all of these in. Is there no copper? Oops. Oh. What? oh, okay. Some of you bad boys, eh? Right. Let's go and grab some. Uh, let's go and grab some iron plate and copper. Oops. Is that a coal again? It's always that a coal. I don't know. I don't know. Just max fill it out, I think. Right, so. Lots of everything. Uh, still got loads of them. Might as well do a few more long-handed. Cue some of them up. Right, does anyone need anything? Oh, I, yeah, that's only on 200, isn't it? Let's just let that keep running. Okay. Pinch it off the belt as well. It's a bit naughty, but there you go. Right. So we have iron, copper, iron, no copper because we need belt.
so that must be where we're getting into green circuit territory okay uh York oh this must be green circuits how many uh oh. Oops. So that must be green circuits there. Uh, so you're go oh, still not got any of them. Okay, okay, okay. New plan, better than the old plan. Uh, output. Do the rest of that in a minute. Somebody needs some copper. Copper? No iron plate. Oh, that's iron plate. Do do do. No power. No power. Don't really need that, but whatever. So you're now doing them. We need. Uh, we need green circuits, right? Of course. any being made why not oh because I put the belt in the wrong way around there we go what a rube um fill out the rest of this oh I didn't make any more of them did I and I'm not, oh. if it's just circuits we need we might as well go and Steal what I can here. Right. Oops. Uh, boxes. Hall of like that. Awesome. Okay, let's go grab. Let's do another resupply. Oof. Uh, okay, we'll grab some of that. Top them up. Grab some of this. Top them up. Getting into the territory where it should be we shouldn't need to do much more of with these guys. Oh look at all that iron and copper. All my birthdays have come at once. More of them. That. Okay. So it shouldn't be long before our sort of proper labs. In fact, I could make some, couldn't I? But no, I can't because I haven't got any iron anymore. You know, a proper lab should be up and running pretty soon. Can I make more? Yeah, let's do it then. Right, what we got? Assemblers, miners, belts, inserters, green circuits, iron plate. Sexy. Right, let's get this 
bus up and running then. I was thinking about this the other day that it's almost it's almost like an argument for doing this sort of bootstrap rapid production, you know, build almost even if you're not doing a you know, doing the achievement because if you think about it you know, I've unlocked basically all of the researches and can therefore build a and therefore can research everything by the 8 hour point basically so you could do this bootstrap base you know irrespective of whether you're doing a, a speed run I've only got four assemblers that's a bit rubbish um The question really would be, obviously, with biters and stuff, whether you would generate so much pollution that you'd start getting attacked and stuff. Well, I say you've unlocked all the sciences. You haven't really, have you? Because yeah, you've not got um, military science and space science, but military science is relatively trivial to actually unlock, although not to actually build. Uh, what machines are those? Wrong ones. These are the green ones. Here we go. Okay. Put them in. So yeah, it's an interesting sort of general strategy for the game. I think most people's bootstrap bases are built with the idea that, you know, it'll make loads and loads of, you know, assemblers and power poles and all that sort of stuff. Certainly mine are. In fact, mine are a bit silly in the sense that probably be better if I didn't put as much stuff on my initial bootstrap one because it's oh are we just running out of iron? I think we're just running out of iron plate, aren't we? Okay, uh, right. I guess we should therefore. I'll get some belts from up here. Let's grab. Made a mess of that. Threw all the coal on the floor. Should have a bunch of belts here. Bit of that. There we go. I think I'll just leave them now. In fact, get rid of that. Leave that one though, I think. Right, so that should help us fill out. the rest of this mini production area. How are we doing? So now we're 10 minutes in. Kind of stalled a little bit on the science because I'm obviously building the proper science production, as it were. Oh. That's all fine. I'll put all of these belts in. Uh, put these in here. In fact, that shouldn't be there, should it? That should be that one. There you go. That. 
So we need to we need to make a lot more iron plate, basically. Oh no, I haven't got that. That's a sort of simple matter of filling out the rest of the smelting area. Okay, probably have to craft a fair bit of belt though. Uh, let's put these in. Oops. Like that. Oh. Leave all that side of it for the time being. And fill out some more of this. Right. if you get the belt the right way around. Oh, don't make steel. No, 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 no. Hmm. So, that should hopefully help get things moving. Uh, let's go and add in whatever miners I picked up to the iron. Grab whatever we've got here. Uh, make some more belts. Can I fill that out? I can in theory, but I need one more. I need one more assembler, basically. And then six. Stick them in. Bit of belt for those to output onto. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for um, I'm oh I'm plate couldn't even it couldn't even get here if it had the option. Uh, you'll also need green circuits, I assume. Oops. So that will be iron plate. No, that will be green circuits. Okay. Is there at least a little bit more iron plate coming? It looks like it. That. Grab them. That. Right. Right. 
One iron plate's going that way. Crikey. A veritable banquet. Uh, why is this not... Oh, of course I haven't got any... Enough mining machines. If I can go to look... Uh, look like I'm building more intent. Yeah, so I, I did do a practice run during the week. So I basically... Oh. I sort of, uh, well, I did it over a couple of evenings, you know, I didn't, it wasn't a solid session, but um, I basically did exactly what I'm doing here, so it was more, because I didn't want to, well, basically I didn't want to, oh, is there nothing in there? Okay. I didn't want to, you know, do an entire weekend of streaming again and not get the achievement, uh, given we were only half an hour off last time. It seemed a bit ridiculous to, you know, basically repeat the entire thing and end up with the same result. Um, so I thought, right, I'll give it a go. I hadn't actually intended to do the full thing, but, um, you know, it just in the end it was... Because what actually happened, and what I imagine will happen here, is I didn't actually... So basically I was left at the end waiting for the... Um, gold science to do. Um, I had enough RCUs and and everything basically stacked up to make a rocket. I mean, literally everything. It was all sort of sat there waiting. Once I'd done it, once I'd done the rocket silo research, it literally happened within you know as quick as you you know as you would as you would like sort of thing. But. Uh, so it was the actual uh, rockets, you know, science, uh, rocket silo research. And it was just, uh, you know, I'm just not making them fast enough to do it when I was ready for it sort of thing. Um, and so I had sort of 10 minutes. No, it was longer than that. It was about 15 or 20 minutes where basically I was just waiting for it to happen because I, I could have added more gold production and stuff, but... There wasn't basically there. We'll get to a point where there's not enough copper. Even with the four lines, there's not actually enough copper. Are we missing something here? I think we are. Aren't we? Anyway, let's fill some of these out. Ah, what? Well, hey, what's? Oh, that would be the copper, of course. I want that to be there. So there's no copper. I was wondering why there wasn't any. Red science backed up. I've missed that bit off. So this needs iron plate. Why is there no iron plate at all? That seems unlikely. No, it's just because we need a lot more. Okay, have we have we made belts? Yes, we have. Okay. Only thirty-two belts though. Assemblers, yeah. Miners, there we go. That'll help. Let's get the other bits and then we can also make some more miners by hand more easily. So I'd quite like this to be running, but it's not running. It's because there's not enough iron, really. Okay, so let's go and fix that then. So this is all kind of over over engineered, but because we don't need this much coal at all. Uh, 
In fact, let's fill out all of this rubbish at the top. So it's kind of ready to go on that front. Ah, oh, out of out. <laughs> I place it like a speed run. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you. Um out. What else? Iron plate. Okay, let's just grab from that. Da -da -da. See what we can put down. A bit more of that. Okay. Right, just fill this little bit in here, like that. And then. Let's do the second. Certainly, oops. Second row of smelting. Get the power poles in. You know, a long time since we did a research, but then I mean, look, logistics too is quite expensive, oh, and it's quite a good opportunity to sort of let it let it chunk through, or let me build it all up. Get that there. In fact, let's put as many of these in as we can. Oops. Okay, how many have I actually got? I've got 100 nearly. Okay. Okay. They're better off putting this belt in. Here. Must have made some more by now. This is properly flowing. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab them and them. That and that. Okay. A few more of them. Oh. Get this moving down here. Oops. Ah. Uh, what's there? Let's take this one down. Hopefully this will provide enough to... Oh, there's stuff coming through now anyway. Lovely. Going to be... Bottlenecked, I think, on the yeah, air green circuits. In fact, are green circuits even able to get over here? They would be if there was enough. Okay, let's fill out. We've got a whole bunch more assemblers, so let's fill out. Oops. Let's fill out all of these power poles. this up now what's going on here did 
don't know. Uh, maybe if we take that over. Let's just put all of that in. I'm not quite sure what all that's doing. Right, so that'll get a little bit more green circuits going. Not a lot, though. Um, let's grab some more of everything. And go back to fill In fact, have any green sciences happened over here? Doesn't look like it. Just literally because in fact, why don't I chuck them in? So green science is the bottleneck now, but green science is going to use up a lot of copper, so let's fill out the rest of the copper and then start filling out the green green circuit machines. The little green circuit machines. Uh, get these in. Right. Of course, that's in the wrong place. No. That's wrong way around. Okay, let's go down. Like oh, like that. No. That. Okay. So that should generate a full lane of copper. Only got 37 belts, but might as well. No, let's go and help green circuits. Quick and I, even, I can do even on full concentration. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I don't. I make a lot of mistakes, but um, I've sort of done a lot of this so so much that there are and there are quite there are weirdnesses I've said said this before but I don't I cannot get myself to um you know shift R so as in oh that's in the wrong place so as in um rotate like anti clockwise rather than clockwise because by the time they'd introduced that to the game, oh, but by the time they introduced that to the game, it was just in my muscle memory that there was only R, you know, regular rotate rather than. Wait, can I fill all of this in? Yeah. You know, rather than the counterclockwise rotation. It seems weird now that you know they wouldn't. That wouldn't have been in from the very beginning, but they did add it later. Um, but yeah, so you know, I, I just can't get. I just it just doesn't. Oh. You know, I go straight for R rather than think right. Well, do I want to rotate it cl clockwise or anti-clockwise? You know. There is only one rotation. So we're out of everything now. Brilliant. Oh, I could put them in actually. One more. Yeah, okay. So, say, out of. Well, not everything. Got some belts. Get it the right way around. Okay, so we need a load of machines, assembly machines, a load of inserters. Might as well grab everything. 
no insert is happening because it's just not getting there. So we'll do that by hand. Stick them in. Grab some of you. Grab some of you. But what's that? Does that really need to be two stacks? So we only made four assembly machines. That's not very good. It's almost like there's a lack of um, green circuits for some reason. Uh, so at least get these few sort of running. But I've missed a load of inserters, haven't I? Why are you not... Oh, you're just waiting to outload. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Seven left. Okay. You don't use shift arm there. Yeah, as I say, I mean, probably if I'd, you know, learnt those basic controls, as it were. It's like another one is. And it's a bit of a... I always forget about the filtering. I mean, I don't. I use the filtering for... Oh! For, um... Like, um... Uh, for, like, uh, stop... You know, I use the fish filter, basically. To stop, you know, things getting in the wrong places and stuff. So I'll put... Um, so on on splitters you can do the filtering and I use um, that filter quite often to stop things going in the wrong place but I still use the old side loading you know belts trick where it'll only take the outside I use that way more than I do I, it never it doesn't occur to me to use you know a filter to achieve the same effect because I'm just used to doing it oh. in that way. Uh, I say it's just because that's, you know, what I learned to do and it works, so I don't, I've not, you know, uh, unlearned it as it were. Or learnt the other way because there's, you know, there's in a sense not any real need for it. Right, so we've got absolutely tons of green circuits now. You can't be complaining anymore. And we have green science happening. It's a veritable miracle. Oh, look at it. Look at... Oh, we can put that machine in as well. Look. Oh, the luxury. And Logistics 2 is about to do... Bing, bong, bing. Right. Let's go and start filling some more things out then. Grab a bit of everything. In fact, we'll get pipes on the go as well now, I think. Because that won't be that long off. Yeah, so we'll start filling out some of the bits I was sort of skipping over now, basically. Uh, oops. No, 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 no. That's better. Say, so fill all of this sort of stuff out. 
I uh, don't need to bother with all that side of things yet, nor that. That's all the stone. We can fill these out, though. Like that. These are basically like the extra green circuits when red and blue starts to become a, a thing. I say now, having had a bit of a pause, science will sort of ramp back up basically. I'm not going to put the machines in yet, but um, might as well do what belts we can. Hopefully there's a load more being made. Should really go and do copper, I think, actually. Whoops. What we got now? In fact, didn't I just do in fast? No, we're doing fast sensors. Okay. Right, let's grab some coal, because I bet... Yeah, these have run out. And how many more are we going to need? We're going to need... Uh... Might be enough with that, but let's go and... In fact, I can make some more. What am I looking for? I'm looking for coal. Here we go. Oops. Don't know why I picked up so much coal. But there you go. Lab research, research, research speed is a bit slower. Did I not grab any belt? No, it's just because it's running slow, isn't it? Right, let's get the fast inserter on there. We'll make a bunch of them so that we can boost up the old cog production, etc. Ah, it's mining drills. Okay. Old school way, yeah. Uh, we can, however, fill out these. Like this. Uh, this one? Oops. Okay, uh, and it's copper we're sort of lagging on. Oops. You lot in. Yeah, the lab research ones are sort of quite expensive, so they'll take a while. Which should give me a chance to put all of this in, but we can also go and. Oh. Uh, we can also go and um, add more labs in. Because, in fact. Can do that. Can I make more of them? Be more long handed. Two of them. So there's two obviously we can go and grab from the other place because I'll sort of deconstruct that. 
and essentially reuse the, the stuff that's stuck up there. Because obviously once we start doing blue science, that wouldn't work anyway, that area. Uh, right, well I can make... Oh. I could make fast inserters if I had the things. Uh, right, so... Let's boost some of these up. Uh, these ones first. Okay. Oh, random one in there. Cool, so that's all fine, apart from obviously, we obviously want assembly two, but we haven't got any steel yet. How many of those did I have left? So we've got another two after that. So yeah, so I'll go and sort of deconstruct the bootstrap science. And reuse it all. Some green science. Okay. Our research speed is about to get done. There we go. Chuck these in here. Okay. Awesome. Steel is a pressing priority fairly soon. Uh, but I would like to finish off these first. But I started. Probably a silly thing to do. Probably would be better. Oh. Did I? I didn't even start that one. Okay, we'll leave that one then. Uh, right, so we need to do steel. I have research. I have research steel. Am I getting paranoid? Right, anyway, we need to set a load, of, load more researches. So, um, next up, we've got engines. Then we want fluid handling. And this is why we want steel, basically, because we're getting into fluid territory, uh, getting into oil territory oil processing and when we need to put down pump jacks they obviously require steel and that will be the blocker on the steel so your plastics so right so oil processing plastics and sulfur yeah oh dear now we're doing 520 Oh dear. <laughs> it's quite intense this this bit of it, but as I say it then suddenly at the end it'll Well I'm gonna be sat there waiting, basically. <laughs> uh so yeah, so we've got engines, fluids, oil processing, engines, fluids, oil processing, plastics, sulfur. Excellent. Right, so we need to go and set up the steel. So what we're going to need for that, we're going to need a load of smelters, we're going to need a load of uh, inserters, we're going to need um, drills and belts in particular. Right, we've got loads of that. 
Got loads of them. Quite a few of them. Probably need a few more inserters. But we definitely need a lot more belts. Uh, so we're lacking gears here. Can I? I can't. You see, I can't make any of them until I get steel. Okay. Okay. We could also check on power. Okay, so we're nowhere near half, you know, we're about, what's that, halfway-ish. Yeah, okay, so we should be okay there. Oh, they should give us the opportunity to kind of punch some trees as well. I think. Right. Now, which are you? Okay, you're... Steel. Uh, coal for steel, rather. Get you in. Okay. Uh, mm. Leave the extra coal for now. So this gets us some trees. Uh, some wood, rather. And we've also, because I've now done the steel axe, this is super quick. Okay. Get you in. Might. Because I'm going to need loads more belt than I've got. Yeah, and it ended up with two of these in the end, basically. Um, doing steel. But that's, like, towards the very end, when I start... When you... Oh. Uh, when you start to need... The actual... Uh, Low-density structures. In particular... We'll be alright with just one. Basically, most of the... Most of it. Oops. You punched. Bing, bong, bing.
Oh, why has it not got power? Um, let's check that out. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't do that bit. Okay. Bing bong bing. Just up there. Get them in. So go down then. Grab these trees as we go. And then that should connect it up now. Hmm, it's obviously a bit been missed somewhere. Oh, there's no connection there. Okay. Uh, right. How many? I've only got 16 belts. Okay. Okay. Why is that not connected? Are you being weird at me, game? Is it connected there and there? Oh, it's not connected there. Oh, it's that ghost. Okay. Okay, no problem. Right, yes, uh, so, right, let's go and get some more belt. Uh, I guess I could make a little bit, but we probably want more of the fancy pants stuff. Right. Belt, please. Belt, please. Need belt, please. Please. Uh, over here. Nearly 500 belts. That's lovely. Lovely. Uh, it's probably all the assemblers are ever going to need that now. Uh, grab some of that. Some of that. Undergrounds. Okay. Should put down some... Because I haven't done stone brick at all yet. I should put down some path, I guess. So hook the iron up at the top. Uh, well, let's do the belt first, then I'll come back and come back and do the power. So I guess I need to queue some more up. So I mean, it's like you know, quite a while for do to do the advanced. Uh, so the secondary, whatever it's called, advanced logistics is it? Secondary logistics, something like that. And then suddenly we kick into gear with all the. No. With all the red and green sciences happening in quick succession. If I put all of this in, so we don't need to actually smelt it for a while, but if we put it in now, then we kind kind of don't need to come back. Well, if I can put it all in, we might not have enough belt. Yeah, we should have enough. 
in for form's sake, I think. Uh, yeah. So let's connect the power. More power. So we're probably actually going to need... Oh. But let's put the second belt in while I make those. Uh, we're probably going to need to boost the power is the next job. Because it will suddenly spike up, basically. When we start putting in the oil stuff, which is not far off. Where did we get to? Down to here. Okay. Like that. Is this going to get all the way down? Oh yeah, nearly. So I'll leave the other bit until we actually do need to um, come and fill this second bit in. But we'll just hang out here for a little second. Make sure the actual iron ore does come down. I am going to... No, I don't need a store. I do need pumps, but I can't make them. Uh, but we also want to grab some steel, obviously, so that we can make uh, pump jacks and stuff. I don't see any iron ore. What have I done wrong? Oh no, here we go. There's the iron ore. Okay. So this, I mean, this is all basically pointless, this coal. Um, but this bit is worth doing. Well, I can't because I haven't got any plumbing things, have I? Right, so um, we need to make... ...20 of those? No, 40 of those. 40 of those, and then well, I'll make both of those, but then we need forty of those. Right, I believe that. So I was missing five anyway, wasn't I? Okay, let's put those two in. Okay. Uh, right, so we should have some steel if everything has gone according to plan. So that iron plate appears to be back. Oh, I only put a couple in, didn't I? Tiny bit of steel. So I need to fill the rest of this in. Forgot that. Get these boys in first.
Ooh, plastic is about to finish. Didn't cure anything else up, did I? Although I think, I think sulfur is. Yeah. Okay. That's a bit more steel. So I need to make 15, I think it was, pump jacks. We can actually check the blueprint. 10 pump jacks. Okay. Nearly there, then. We could make some more... No, let's leave them. Because we can start upgrading to blue assemblers now, as well. Now that we've got some steel... In fact, yeah, let's put some up. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I should have. I didn't grab any iron, but we can grab some iron up here. Didn't make as many belts as I thought I would in that time, but looks like we're running low on cogs because they're only grey machines. Grey machines are rubbish. Rubbish beyond rubbish. Right. We don't need that much belt, but we probably have to hand make the last few bits. I'm not actually going to connect it up, it's just getting in place. Because we don't need to... You know, it'll be engines we need to make on the, on the, you know, the blue science, but we might as well use the steel that we're making so far to get all refineries etc working except another blocker there ah. missed them uh, is that we don't have any stone brick grab that yeah cool so we'll sort of leave that for now I mean it will all stack up oh. That looks like that's Mr. Inserter. That's Mr. Inserter to you. Yeah, so it'll stack up here, basically. Um, so it'll be within easy reach. But Okay. But yeah, we need to do stone brick. Which is also stone, obviously, as well. Right, let's upgrade. Have I got enough to do? Yeah, we can do ten of them. And so we can put the rest in that. Get five of them, say. And then... Uh, then we're into the territory of... Um, Oh, it's because there's one more than I... Yeah, okay. Oh, stone, yes, sorry. Uh, right. Get these down. I mean, this is, like, way overkill. Oh, still for stone. Oh. Can I not grab any? Oh, yeah. Oh, no power bar. 
house. Uh, so yeah, we'll get the stone brick sort of up and running. I won't connect it to where it eventually needs to go. But it'll make... Oh yeah, self for, self for processing. Oh dear. <laughs> and we were kind of, we're like halfway, no, we're about a third of the way through. No, it's more like half, I would say, of the text, really. It's surprising how few you actually need. Right, so let's do, let's stack them up. So we want advanced material. Oh, can I even do that? Yeah, advanced material processing. Then we want, no, we don't. We want advanced electronics. Solve advanced electronics. There we go. There we go. That's red circuits. Then we want batteries. Then we want blue science. Then we're into flammables. Then modules. And then prod one and speed one. Cool. Oh dear. So, uh, how are we doing time wise? So it's 20 to 6. I can do I mean I can do a bit longer today. So we just need to find a good a good stopping place really. It won't take long. I mean advanced circuits is I'm oh, sorry, advanced electronics. Why did I think advanced material processing was next? Hmm. That's relatively expensive, isn't it? 200 150 75. Okay. So maybe I'll go to the point where chemical science is ready to rumble. As in research, not not that I've actually put it down. That'll be a little while after. Okay, we'll see how far we get, because that 200 is quite a lot. Right, but yeah, we need to get the stone brick being made so that we can build some chemical, you know, um, oil processing things. Uh, no, no, what's happened there? There we go. And same with the steel, basically. We'll just leave it sat on the belt so that I can hoover it up, like so. What was I going to do? Don't know. Right. How many does that give us? None. Oh, because I haven't got any steel. Okay. Let's go and grab that steel then. We'll grab some. We need loads of belt now. Into the ridiculous territory now for belt. So I could bring the. Bring it all over from the other place. So probably kind of done with miners and assemblers. Uh, not assemblers. Miners. And. Um, Smelters we may not need any more than that. Right, but we can build this in. As we go. My steel, oh, lovely steel. Cool. Because we need ten of them, basically. So I'll leave it there. So we need ten of them. Is it ten? I think it's ten. Ten of them. In fact, let's have a look. Ten oil refineries. Okay, let's go and do that then. We know we've got the pump in. In fact, let's lay down which is it. I can't remember. Which is plastic. Uh, I can't remember. It, doesn't, it sort of doesn't matter. We can lay any one of them in. 
Let's say this is like right. a redonkulous amount of belt. Okay, that was sulfur. That's fine. No, it wasn't. That was plastic. Okay. See, what I can do, you see, is we can relay the blueprint, basically. It'll have the things I've been, tiny little things I've been instinctively correcting for no real benefit, like taking the bits of belt out. Those mistakes will be back, but... Oh, whoops, that was in the wrong place. Uh, how have I set this up? So, up to there. Is it? Yeah. I hate the way it doesn't sort of, oh, I know, I didn't pick up any pipes, did I? What a rube. Uh, right, so, yeah, power poles is always a safe option. Uh, uh, across here. Like so. Up there, oops. Yeah, but when you put them in again, it like overlays the recipe. If you've discovered it, which is really cool. Uh, really cool. In a fiction of a game, that's it's a bit weird that when you think about it. Because if the idea is he's re researching. He meaning the engineer, I guess. Don't know his gender, but if the engineer is researching the technologies, how can he have a blueprint that tells him what what the technologies are? It's a bit sort of strange, but then there's that sort of ex existential weirdness. That's not existential, but that sort of weirdness in um, all games with tech trees. When you think about it, because it's like, I like Dyson, Dyson Sphere programs are a very good example in that you're a giant mech that's flown across the galaxy, and yet the first thing you do, oh, I haven't made, oh, I can't make any, can I? Um, okay, the first thing you do. Is research electromagnetism like one of the most basic, you know, things in physics you can imagine? So how how do you not already understand electromagnetism? Oh, we need more of these, don't we? Because I must have just missed them off on the blueprint. Okay, we need more of those. I thought it was fifteen. Let's see if fifteen is the number. Oh, that was quicker than I thought it was going to be, actually. Yeah, so obviously I've just missed these out of the blueprint. No, no great shakes. Oh, why is there an extra one in there? Nope. Oh, we're out of them again. Uh, hmm. Let's go and get some more pipes and stuff. I can't make engines by hand. That's annoying. You may be thinking too deep into it, boss. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe 
Uh, yeah. So let's go and get pipes then. Rather than handcraft a million of them. Um, I guess I could connect one steel making machine. That's uh, steel. Engine making machine. Yeah, we're going to have to relay the blueprint, I think. So, we can do that very simply. By grabbing it. Making sure it's all lined up properly. Stop being red, please. And then plopping it down. And then the recipes we have now discovered are already included. So what have we got here? I don't know what any of these are specifically, but obviously they are iron and, you know, pipes and steel and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I've not got any bell. Oh dear. Ah, uh, yeah, I did this. I did this in my practice run. I've put the blooming cogs on both on the same side. So I did that in the the practice run as well. There you go. That's better. There you go. Pipes as well. There we go. All better. Right now, so iron plate needs to come down. As to pipes, as to cocks. Take that up to there, say. Across to there. Oh, it's not like I need a million pumps, it's just the dreaded horrors that is. What the heck happened there? Okay. Right, so this should be steel then. Ooh, I'm running a bit low of splitters. Don't know if I need any more steel or not. I don't think I do. I think the machines are doing all the steel steel processing now. Uh, right, so what do we need? We need to make more of them, definitely. We need to see if this is going to make an engine or two. I can come back for them, I guess. Okay. So we'll... I guess we'll connect this. Are we going to connect this? Yeah, we've got a thousand belt now, so... This is the rocket fuel, basically. Which is some way down the line, but... Might as well just put the, the belt in. Okay, so where did we get to? Okay. So I don't know why there's random half belts around the place. Um, oh, let's just put a regular pipe in. Okay, need to put the power on. Bing bong bing. So I guess this was connected over here somehow. Hmm. Do you two? Oh. I thought it would kick in then. What have I missed? Oh, there's no connection across. Okay. Oh, this is the connection across. Okay. Okay. Oh. Someone wasn't paying attention to how many power poles he had. You're connected now? 
No. What have I done wrong? Oh. What? Oh, that power pot's in the wrong place. Connected now. Yes. Oil floweth. Oil floweth. Right. Need to connect these up. Oh. Oops. Okay. No? What are you doing? You running? You're running. Okay. Bing bong bing. Was that blue science? Must have been crikey. Well, it's not even six o'clock yet. Yeah? Um, right. Oh, it's not far off actually. Uh, right. There. Uh, what's going on there? That's that one there. That's that. Uh, across there. Um, So quite how they do the speed runs, I don't know, as in who works out. There must be some genius somewhere works it all out, sort of thing. Uh What am I missing? Because there, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's on. Okay, that's advanced oil. Okay. So you fill all of this out. Crikey! I said it before, it's, but it's really, it is really, oh, really apparent. Just how much of the game you can complete, basically on red and green science. Bit disproportionate, to be honest with you. Right. So, what we what I want to do is hook this water up, and I think we'll call it a day. Then, in fact, no. Let's get let's get sulfur and plastic flowing. Right. There's some pipes missing down the bottom, aren't there? And then we'll call it a day. No. Water. Water doth flow. Oh dear. Actually, it's probably better if I think about it in terms of this clock rather than. Yeah. Right. Let's leave that side of it. And now, get these laid in. Ah, we're out of undergrounds. Uh, so what are you waiting? You're waiting, just waiting on the coal, hopefully? Looks like there's... Yep. Oh. Whoops. Uh... 
Uh, is this here? This connects to the coal, so I'll have to fill that out, basically. Oops. But yeah, this whole top bit I don't need, basically. Or I didn't on the other playthrough. Oh. Somebody's used up all of our splitters. Right. How are we doing? That's right there. That across there. Fill this bit out as well. No. So that should make its way over to plastic. Prod modules. How are we doing? So 5.30. So if we had two and a half hours sort of left in my other run, I probably want to go... Yeah, okay. So this should come down to the... Oh, I didn't finish these off. Okay. Well, it's obviously it's you know it's more oil than I actually need, but uh, can't make any more. Right, so sulfur is flowing. Let's go and um, in fact, can I put these machines in? Machines, labs in. Oh, put them in. It's only one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So I need electronic circuits to do that. Okay. The terrors of children, eh? <laughs> oh, speed modules now as well, crikey. Um, right. I don't. I mean, I don't have kids myself, but my uh, my sister's got got a son and a couple of stepchildren, and uh, <laughs> he's quite a handful. He's one of these that I suppose all kids are like that, but. He's like tries to get into everything, so he tries to open every drawer and you know every cupboard and all this sort of stuff all the, all the time. So they've had to get you know some of them child safe locks, you know, where magnetic things, because he just opens stuff and like takes out knives and you know all this sort of stuff that's just you know in the cupboard sort of thing. Um, And they had quite a few, you know, he smashed quite a few things, you know, because he drops them, you know. And it's like, <laughs> just agents of chaos, basically. Right, so we got way, way, it was way, way quicker doing them than I thought. I mean, some of them are very cheap, but so it's not totally surprising. But, um, but yeah, we need to stack up a load of more stuff. Right, so, in fact, if we do all of these, we'll be two thirds of the way through the science-ish. It goes, a, some of them are a lot slower though. Right, so what we need now, now we need advanced material processing. Wait, I've already done that. Oh no, there it is. Advanced material processing. Concrete. Railway. Advanced oil. Advanced oil. Uh, 
uh, advanced oil and rocket fuel rocket fuel i mean if we get all of these done that i'm not i'm gonna we'll knock it on the head there because we've done really well uh going for the spoony one right no no i'm not i'm gonna we'll, i'll come back tomorrow um basically uh because i know it took it took five and a half hours ish uh when i did the practice run um and obviously i did the lab building you know the you know the labby thing at the start of this stream so that's about and it took about it took longer than i thought actually it's about 45 minutes i think wasn't it but um so no we'll come back tomorrow i'm not going to do it right the way through because it does take it slows down um really really you know some of the techs are really ex like the prod sign uh speed three and um prod three are really expensive and rocket silo in fact the last half hour will probably you know <laughs> It'll be the opposite. I, you know, I won't have anything to do but chat sort of thing. Um, but yeah, no. So I got further than I thought. I think we'll just get. Where's a good place to stop? I think I want to finish the you know the oil bill basically, and then we'll call it a day there. Um, yeah. So be about another ten or fifteen minutes, I guess. So half, half six. I'm just thinking because you know if we get the clock down to closer to five hours. Um, then I know we're about halfway through. Is my thinking at the moment right? So is that is that right? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Right, so I'll go and grab these engines. Um, and I needed eight labs, didn't I? Which is circuits I need. So I needed five, six, seven, eight. Because like with a steel. It's like once it's all laid out, get some engines. We we kind of done, and we don't have to go back there, um, pretty much, because the recipes I can just stick on by doing the blueprint again. So I don't even need to be there to do that. Oh, I'll need some for them as well. Now, yeah, come back to that later. But yeah. So once we put in all these pipes, oh, I didn't grab the pipes, did I? That's the other reason I need to stop because I'm starting to make silly mistakes rather than you know accidental type mistakes um, just grab a bit of that right so i've made the labs i could put these pipes in oh i didn't actually make the pumps did i i can't actually remember how many there are it's only a tiny number, it's like four again. Yeah, so I get all this sort of set up and ready to go. It's like this is the lube, but I can't make lube yet because I've not done that research because it requires blue science. But the machine can be there and I can paste the recipe onto it. Get out of the way. Oops. Yeah. Oops. No, I'm making a right mess of this. Okay. These are the so these are rocket fuel, as I say. Oh, I haven't got very many of them. Okay. Inserters. Uh, oh, no. Get it right in a minute. What's going on there? Not quite sure what's happening there, but I'm sure it's right.
Oops. And these are solid clear. Why have you stopped making... Because you haven't got petroleum. Why haven't you got petroleum? Presumably... Because we've only got a few machines running. Okay, that's no problem now. Right, we'll go and stick the pump in that I... Oh. So make sure we get some proper flow in the proper direction. A couple of these left. Oops. Like that. Then we got another pump here. What the heck is this? Oh, this must be water. Okay. Yeah. Right, and then when you fill this in. Oh, I would have to come back then if I've got speed modules in these. So it was a real pain though. Cracking. Probably makes more sense to unlock the logic stuff. But whatever. It's got power. That's full. That's just waiting on stuff. Okay, so that's, I think that's all kind of laid down. Um, Am I going to... No, let's not bother with that. I just hope it's sort of okay. That's basically, you know, stockpiling it rather than, you know, having it sat on a belt. Because of sort of how much you need. Right. So oil is basically done. Uh, so we'll wrap up there. Concrete seems to be taking a while, so that's good. Um, we're down to about five and a half. Oh, five and a half. Oh, five and a half hours to go. So that gives me a lot of confidence for tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. So I'll be back three o'clock again. Well, assuming, I think the storm's basically passed now, but if it does kick up again, because I've had a few p power flickers, basically, you know, like little brownouts. That's probably you know, exaggerating it, but the power has wobbled a couple of times today, so um, there's a vague possibility that, you know, I say, we'll do this when we come back. Uh, there's a vague possibility that you know, I'll have a power cut or something, but really vague. Um, it's very unlikely. Uh, yeah, but we will pick up. I'll set this, you know, um, we'll just keep going, basically. So we'll set this going. This is sulfuric acid and batteries, which we have researched, haven't we? Yeah, so we can actually get the batteries running. Um, and then and then it's a case of getting blue science up and running, which will be quite quick because we've got the sulfuric acid. I can make engines. Obviously, I've set one going. And uh, what's the other thing? Advanced circuits. That'll be quite a, that's quite a big build, which is quite slow. Uh, but once that's there, you know, blue, blue science will just take off, basically. Um, cool. So there we go. Yeah, so if you have been watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it and you might consider coming back for another one. Uh, I'll be back at three o'clock tomorrow for more Factorio. We'll go until we've done this um, achievement, which pretty much guaranteed. So I've got the other file that I can use to, to do it if I have some kind of disaster. Um, and then I'll 
Well, I, well, maybe have a chat about what I want to do next because I'm not, I'm still not hundred percent sure what series I want to do after this. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, back tomorrow and then uh, Monday I've still done some Sphere program. A bit late, a lot easier now Monday because um, I'm not going into work on Mondays. I'm going into in on Thursdays now. Um, so that'll be a lot easier. I don't have to dash back. And then Satisfactory again next Friday. So yeah. So I say, have you been watching? Uh, I think I was doing so. And I can see the come back for another. Uh, I've been Tris Magistus. This has been Factorio. Thanks for watching. Cheers.